Welcome to Lisa's Ladle, where we're cooking big in small places. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Lisa's Ladle. If you're new to this channel, you're going to find out what are some of the challenges with cooking your favorite recipes on a boat. If you visited my galley before, hey, welcome back. If you're new, welcome aboard. Today's recipe is gluten-free tortillas. Holy smokes, guys. While we were sailing in the Caribbean for like a year, I had the hardest time finding gluten-free bread, gluten-free tortillas, gluten-free flour, gluten-free anything. It was really difficult. So I am learning how to make gluten-free tortillas. Next time we hit the Caribbean, I'm gonna be prepared. So let's take a look and see what our ingredients are for today. We are gonna be using one cup of gluten-free cassava flour. I have found that this is the best flour to make tortillas that you want to be able to roll. One cup cassava flour, two tablespoons of olive oil. This is a quarter, or I'm sorry, a half teaspoon of cream of tartar, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Then we're gonna do a slight drizzle of honey for a little bit of flavor and some taste. We're gonna add our dry ingredients first. You wanna give it a nice little whisk. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but cassava flour, man, it is dusty. Look at that dust. But it rolls really nicely, guys. Before we add the honey, we're actually going to start with the two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm using the I'm using two tablespoons of olive oil in place of ghee, palm oil, Crisco, any kind of shortening. So this is what I found works best, and I like the flavor and taste of this the most. Just like you would with Crisco, you're just going to pinch it with your fingers and work it in the flour. So it's gonna be dry and crumbly. You're looking for dry and crumbly at this stage. Hey, who wants to add a little bit of flavor to this tortilla? This girl, We're gonna add a drizzle wow, of honey. And then you're gonna work that into your flour. Nice and dry and crumbly. This is where you're gonna add your water. We're gonna have one cup of warm water at the ready. And I'm not gonna add it all at once. What we're gonna do is add about half of the, the cup of water because if you have too much water, no problem. You just add a little bit more flour. If it's too dry and crumbly after you add the whole cup of water, no problem. Add more water. All right, so let's start adding a little bit of water. About a half a cup. And we're gonna work the water in. You're looking for a Play-Doh consistency. What you want to pay attention to, if it's too dry and crumbly, add a little bit more water. If it's too wet, then you're gonna to wanna to add some flour. As you can see down here, it's still dry and crumbly, so we're gonna add some more water. And squish that water in there. This actually is starting to feel really good. So what you're gonna want is to pinch off a ball. I'm gonna roll this. Pinch some more. And see if it, oh, it's still moist. See how it spreads and it doesn't crumble? I think we're at a good consistency. You can actually make six tortillas out of this dough recipe. If you have a tortilla press, you're gonna find it's much easier. You can, you can pinch off smaller balls and roll the dough balls in a little bit smaller because that tortilla press really flattens it evenly and presses it evenly. Today, I don't have one, which reminds me, if you have one and you really like it, leave me a comment down below because I believe before we set off sale again, this girl is gonna buy a tortilla press because I have a feeling a lot of tortilla making is gonna be in my future. 
But anyway, back to the dough. Today I'm only gonna make three larger balls. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it's only David and I, and he's gonna have two fajitas. I'm gonna have one fajita and that's all I want. And I want them to be a little bit thicker and bigger. I have parchment paper already torn apart at my rolling station over here. I'm gonna put a little bit of cassava flour down on the parchment paper, spread it out. My first dough ball is ready. I'm using a bowl and a knife, and I'm gonna show you, as soon as I get this rolled out, what these are for. A Little bit of flour on the second piece of parchment paper. If you do have a tortilla press, you're gonna still wanna use the parchment paper and put flour on it, it makes it so much easier for cleanup from what I read, since I don't have one, and it makes it a little bit easier to get to the skillet, the hot skillet. I flatten it with my hand first, nice little push, then we're gonna roll away. Gently peel your paper off. This is where you get your bowl. And don't press down. Gently go around with the knife. If you press down, you're gonna push the bowl into the tortilla and then the, it kind of sticks to the bowl and makes it a little bit more difficult to get to the skillet without tearing. At this point, once you have your first, first tortilla rolled, I get my skillet. I'm gonna use a medium-sized skillet and you wanna use medium-high heat. And preheat the skillet first before you put the tortilla in. This is an excellent recipe. You can double the ingredients if you want. You can also use this one cup of flour, this actual recipe, and roll it all out, one big dough ball, and use it as a pizza crust. Pizza crust. Pizza, pizza. We're gonna heat this up in the skillet. So I'm gonna flip it on top of the skillet, gently remove the paper, because they do like to rip, guys. And then flip it in the skillet. I have my timer set for a minute and a half. We'll see what that gets us want to have a couple bubbles and hopefully it's nice the skillet's nice and hot for it to bubble up Ooh, time to flip i'm gonna use a fork to kind of loosen it and flip it Ooh, that looks good and it smells really good This is the first tortilla. I have a plate with a tea towel ready to put the tortilla in. And you wanna do each side about a minute. The first side we did a minute and a half, make sure the skillet was warmed up. And the second side was about a minute. So now we take our paper back over to the skillet. Gently flip. Gently pull, and good night. So my dough split right here. What I'm gonna do is kind of pinch it together with my fingers. If that happens when you're pulling it away from the paper, if you don't, if you don't mind, go ahead and grill it up. If you do want it to be all together so you can roll it up, then just re-roll it, too easy. And flip. Oh, how good does that look, guys? Some of the things that I want to tell you guys about when I was researching this recipe, trying to find a tortilla recipe, I tried several different flours. Chickpea flour, coconut flour, almond flour, all-purpose flour, all gluten-free, trying to get a tortilla that I could roll and had a halfway decent taste. I settled on the cassava because the taste is halfway decent. It doesn't taste like cardboard to me, and you can roll it. The only con that I found with this is it does not taste good the, the second day, the next day. Good news, you can freeze these. Roll your tortillas out, put parchment paper in between them, 
and then put them in a store, a freezer storage container, and then pull them out as you need them. So if you want to make a big batch, you can, or if you just want to make a few at a time, you can. But you definitely only want to make what you need the day that you're using them because they don't taste that great the next day. Ooh. We tried it and David even, my not picky eater even said, yeah, these aren't good the next day, hun. So my friends, 15 minutes of prep time, 15 minutes to cook, 30 minutes to delicious gluten-free tortillas that you can actually roll. Don't believe me? Let me show you. You can roll that sucker right up. I'm gonna make these into chicken fajitas and have a delicious lunch. 30 minutes or less, can't beat that. And the flour is really not that expensive considering how many tortillas you can get out of bag of flour and all the other delicious gluten-free products that you can make with it. As always, my friends, hey, live, laugh, love, and lick that ladle. I'm gonna keep cooking until I see you next time. Bye guys. See, I'm ready to be the world